Hey, so I recently acquired this boat and trailer. I figured it'd be a good idea to check the wheel bearings before I take it on a long trip. So, like a little video on how to check your wheel bearings on your trailer. So there's no need to take your lug nuts off and pull the wheel. Um, first thing you're gonna need to do is take your bearing cap off here. There's a couple ways to do that. One way is you can take your rubber hammer and go around, tap it like this until it comes off. Um, on the, like the buddy bearing ones, they're a little bit tougher, it works pretty good. But on these, sometimes you start denting them. So on these, what I'm gonna do is use the old channel locks here. And wrap it with this paper towel so it Mar it all up. Just gonna work it back and forth, and there it is. It's a messy job, so you're gonna need lots of towels. Alright, this ain't looking too bad. It's got grease and no sign of rust yet. Or a lot of water or anything. Let's wipe this off so we can get a better look. Okay, you're gonna have your cotter key here, which somebody bent all kinds of ways. <laughs> so we gotta take this off. Just try to bend it straight as you can here. These diagonal cutters are good for grabbing these. Start working it out. pieces like that so then up in a tire okay next you're gonna have your castle nut it should be pretty loose which it is This off a little bit. Next, you're going to have a washer. tire in a more comfortable spot and then I'll we'll inspect the bearing. Okay we got the assembly up here. Let's pull out the bearing. See what we're working with. You don't want to see any rust or pitting or anything like that.
feels nice and smooth. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I don't see rust or pitting or any signs of heat, excessive heat. Clean this up and then we'll repack it. So to check the back bearing, you would have to take this seal out here. And usually you wreck it when you do that. So if you want to take the back bearing all the way out, make sure you get a replacement seal. Um, I don't have one, so we're not going to do that. But you can still get a look in here. Can feel the bearing see how smooth it is um, the front one looks great there's no sign of water intrusion in here chances are the back one's fine too okay so after you clean up the bearing we're gonna repack it this is a bearing packing tool the old school way you take a glob of grease and then put it in your palm and just keep working it in there like that. This one, you put the bearing in there like so. Put that on. And you push it down until you see the grease come up. Yeah, it all pressed through there like that. Already wiped out the inner hub here. Race looks good. Put this bearing back in now. I put more grease in the hub as well. Wipe off the spindle. Spindle looks good. Grease the spindle up a little more. Slide the hub back on. I'll put a little bit more grease on the <clears throat> on the race in here. This out of the way. Slider hub and bearing back on. Clean up our washer. Put the washer back on. Clean up your castle nut a little bit. Put this back on. I want to 
that shake and spin the tire around a little bit just to get it seated all the way. Now, this castle nut doesn't need to be really tight. Somebody put a really long valve stem on this wheel. Spin it, tighten it a little bit, make sure it's seated. You don't want to tighten it so much to where your wheel is hard to turn. Then you got to back it off to the hole so you can get your new cotter pin back in there. Which I the hole is right there. Wheel spins good, not tight, it's not too loose. Take your new cotter pin. Slide that in. Clean it up so you can see what you're doing here. Bend this end out. So that it can't now, I might have to turn this bottom on a little bit. Yep. Gonna trim this one that's hanging out a little bit. Okay, good. Clean out this whole cap. Take a rubber hammer, just gently. You want to dent this. There you go, you're done. You had, if I had bearing buddies on here, I'd take the grease gun and fill them up. But we don't right now. Uh, and remember, if you wanted to really pull that back bearing out, make sure you get a seal, a replacement seal. But the front one's in so good shape, there's no sign of corrosion or anything in there. It's fine. Wheel's spinning good, everything's fastened up. That's it, not much to it.